Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to say my formal goodbyes to Sprint. As the merger completed on April 1st, Sprint is now no longer going to be a company. It's now going to operate under T-Mobile in the future. And I wanted to tie in that Sprint goes out with a bang. This article was reported by Light Reading's Mike Dano. So I'll leave that in the description down below so you guys can read all this in full. But Sprint goes out with a bang on their quarterly earnings. These are preliminary. The official announcement will be on May 6th. But it does seem that Sprint gained 502,000 postpaid customers. Now, why is this big if they lost 348,000? It's because although the merger completed and Sprint said they were in dire need of, of another company, they still gained as a standalone 502,000 postpaid customers. So something was working, you know, whether it be the deal or the network or the, the speed increase, something was working that 502,000 customers switched over to Sprint in Q1 of 2020. So something was working. Don't know what it is. It could have been marketing clicked. It could have just been people were looking for uh, a cheaper deal because of the uh, COVID-19 situation. Whatever it was, something worked that half a million customers switched over to Sprint. And if you guys saw the quarters that Verizon and uh, AT&T had, had, they pretty much flatlined, so to speak. So Sprint gaining, that leads me to believe um, Charter and Comcast also gained. So I think T-Mobile may have another quarter of over a million customers gained um, as a standalone. The, the combined reporting starts in next quarter in Q2, to my understanding. But of course, I will have a official uh, video once that report is officially released May 6th. But for now, I just wanted to say my formal goodbyes to Sprint. It was fun while it lasted. Uh, in my in my opinion, there just wasn't enough investment very early on in the transition of going from WiMAX to LTE. I know WiMAX was a mistake to begin with, but once they decided to do the network vision with under HESI, I think it was a good investment. But then after HESI left, I think there just wasn't enough investment into the network to justify Sprint still being a standalone operator in 2020, in my opinion. I think if they would have done, if they would have made their investment bigger back then and they would have had 2.5 already fully deployed or largely deployed in, say, 2017, 2018, it would have been a much better network experience for the existing customer and for anyone that wanted to join. But since they barely got started in the middle of 2017, 18, 19, getting the band uh, 41 rolled out on a larger scale, it made it a poor experience for most of the new customers. So once their deal ended, they, they decided to leave. Once they had that one year or two years of a deal that they got, they, they split, they left, and the numbers showed that. So it was, it was primarily the network investment just wasn't there, and the network overall just wasn't um, as good as what the competition was offering around those times and, and still to this day. I can't say on a lot of um, uh, third-party testing, sprint speeds have spiked significantly above the competitions since they incorporated the Band 41, but that's largely to, due to having high, high amounts of spectrum and low amounts of users. So in some of the areas where they have high amounts of users, they are struggling with congestion. So don't think that Band 41 is exempt from congestion. It can still get congested and Sprint has shown that on their numbers. So again, I just wanted to make this video saying my goodbyes to Sprint. Uh, let me know how you feel about Sprint over the years. Maybe you're still a Sprint user using them. So let me know how you feel about this. But this is just a brief video. Sprint goes out with a bang, adds a half a million customers. And this is my uh, goodbye to Sprint. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end the video now. But if you are new, make sure to follow my Twitter. YouTube has dropped the ball on pushing out notifications. Some say three, four, five days delays. So if you have a Twitter, follow the Twitter. I do put the videos on the Twitter the minute they become available. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.